Let's take a look at how we can use column addition of five and six digit numbers without regrouping. Place value charts can be really helpful when you're doing column addition. So let's try using one to add two numbers together. Using a place value chart and some place value counters, can you represent 342,654 and 23,243? Your place value chart should look something like this now. Can you use your place value chart to find the total of these numbers? Your answer should be 365,897. Well done if you got it right. Now let's take a look at how this can help us with column addition. When you write your addition like this, each column represents the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands and hundred thousands, just like it does in the place value chart. In the same way that we found the total number of counters in each column, we can find the total of each column by adding the digits together. When you're using column addition, always start in the column on the right, which is the ones column here. That will become more important when we move on to column addition with regrouping. Let's try another one now. Using the skills that you just practiced, can you use a place value chart to represent these two numbers? Your place value chart should look like this. Now, can you use this to help you find the total of these numbers using column addition? Write the calculation as a column addition now and see if you can solve it. Did you use your place value chart to help you find the total of each column? Your answer is 885,957. Now it's time for a final challenge. How many solutions can you find to this problem? Try to find at least three different numbers which could total 946,828. How many did you find? There are lots of solutions to this problem, but the key is to make sure that the total of each column is correct. If you need to take a look at anything in this video again, remember that you can rewind or rewatch at any time. If you're happy with column addition without regrouping, then why not take a look at our next video, which is column addition with regrouping. This video is going to be all about how to do column addition with regrouping. You should already be confident on how to do column addition without regrouping, but if you need a recap, then take a look at our video all about that first. Let's try one together to start with. Can you use your place value chart and counters to represent 542,468? plus 354,216 and write it as a column addition. Your place value chart should look like this and your column addition should look like this. Have a look at your ones column now. How many ones are there all together? There are 14 ones in this column, but we can't have more than 9 in one column. Could you regroup these 14 ones into tens and ones? Well done if you noticed that you could regroup 10 of the ones into one ten. Where should this counter move to? That's right, a 10 counter needs to go in the tens column. What do we now have in the ones column? There are four ones left in the ones column. How many tens do we now have? There are now eight tens in the tens column because we regrouped ten ones. 
Were the other columns affected? No, the other columns stayed the same. But why were they not affected? That's right, there were less than 10 counters in each one, so no regrouping was needed. Now that we've regrouped our ones using a place value chart, can you use column addition to find the total of the two numbers? Here is what your column addition should look like. Did you remember to show where you regroup the ones and include it in your calculation? Now let's take a look at this addition calculation. Can you use your place value chart and counters to represent this? This is how your place value chart should look now. Can you see any columns that need regrouping? There are two columns with more than 10 counters, so these columns will need regrouping. Did you find them? Let's take a look at the tens column first. How many tens can you see? That's right, there are 15 tens altogether here. We can take 10 of them and regroup them as 100. Where should the 100 counter move to? That's right, it needs to go in the hundreds column. In this calculation, this isn't the only column that needs regrouping. Let's have a look at the ten thousands column. How many counters can you see? There are 11 counters here. How many could we regroup together? That's right, we can take 10 of them and regroup them as 100,000, then move this into the 100,000s column. Now it's time to try this with column addition. Can you use your understanding of regrouping to complete this calculation? Your answer should be 716,955. It's time for one last challenge. Have a look at this calculation. Can you find the missing numbers? Why not even time yourself to see how quickly you could do it? Great work, here's your answer. I hope you found this video useful. We have lots of other maths videos if you need help with anything else. And remember that you can rewind or rewatch this one at any time if you need a little bit of extra help.